If you are looking for a very quick and simple way to calculate moment of inertias of cross sections and complex geometries, then this video is right for you. First, we're going to look at how to uh, calculate the moment of inertias for a very simple shape, like a 200 by 100 millimeters cross sections. And then in the second step, we're going to look at how to calculate the moment of inertias of a very complex uh, cross sections. So let's get started and jump into the video. So we're starting in an empty Rhino file and the first thing we're going to do is just pick a 2D view like top or it could also be right, it doesn't matter. And now we just first want to create a very simple cross section um, 200 millimeters by 100 like this. And the important part is here that we have a closed curve. And now we go here to launch Grasshopper. It's gonna open up very quickly. And now we actually only need one node to make the moment of inertia work. And that is called area moments. So you select, you tap two times in the intersection, in the interface, sorry. And then this node pops up. You could also alternatively go to surface analysis and then you find it area moment here. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we right click on geometry and then we set one geometry. And this is our curved and to actually see the results we need a panel so that's what we're going to do next and now you have multiple options first off you can just calculate the area but what we're interested in this video is actually the inertia but still now we get like three different results and in order to only get the moment of inertia in the weak and in the strong axis, we click on secondary and then we just connect this one with the panel. Now we still have three different ones, but one is zero. And I calculated that in MathCAD by hand. And here we can see that the moment of inertia in the strong direction, the Y direction is basically the second one. And in the weak direction, it's the first value here. Now this is simple and we could also easily do that by hand. But for example, I had a project where we had like a, yeah, a concrete core of a high rise building that is 70 meters tall. And that core wasn't that easy to calculate by hand. So what I'm going to do now is I just simply draw how that core looked like. Um, I trim and then we can calculate also the moment of inertia of that core. Now I'm going to join all those and I'm going to offset them because um, that core had those um, concrete walls on the outer edge and was hollow in the middle. Now we select this and now I say we had 30 centimeter thick walls click OK, go to tab, and there we go. And we have two closed curves. Now, you have different options here with what geometries you can input actually. It's a B-Wrap, a Mesh, or a Planner closed curve. Now, what we're gonna do is we use the surface from Planner curves. So I select the first one and the second one and hit Enter. And this surface is already enough to calculate the new moment of inertia. So what we do, we set one geometry, we select this one, and then we get two values again. You can see that the smaller value, the first one, is again in the weaker direction. So basically in this direction. And then the strong direction is this direction. 